In this video, I'm going to share with you nine things I wish I knew when I first got started with affiliate marketing. Hello, my name is Austin Godbolt, and I am an unemployee. An unemployee is simply someone that realizes that their traditional nine to five grind isn't for them. If you are like me, an unemployee, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell as I upload different ways to help you unemploy from your boss and your job. So as I mentioned in this video, I want to share with you some of the things that I wish I knew when I first got started. Now, if you want to know my number one recommended way to start an online business, uh, click the first link in the description or go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash start. So these are all things that kind of hit me as I was going through my, as I continue to go through my affiliate marketing journey. And I want to share them with you so that you can kind of skip the, or shorten your learning curve. Everyone's going to have a learning curve. So I just want to shorten yours so that you can start finding a level of success that you are interested in and that you are ser searching for. So number one is affiliate marketing is simple but not easy. So what I mean by this is the concept of, of affiliate marketing is relatively simple. You simply recommend other people's products and services. When they click the link and buy the product, you get paid a commission. Now it's not easy for a number of reasons, some of which I'll talk about throughout this process. It's not easy because you feel like you've got a great product. Maybe you have, let's say you found a product over on Amazon or ClickBank or whatever it is, and you feel like you've got a great product, but you simply can't get people to buy. I know that I've had this frustration and from time to time, I, it, I, I still have that same frustration, but that's why it's not easy. Uh, people that have massive success and they're making, let's say a million dollars per year, they make it look easy, but that's because they've gone through the not easy, the frustration, the anger phase of, of starting an online business. With affiliate marketing, because it is a business, you can create as much good content or you think as good content as you can, and you'll realize that um, it's not easy. People aren't just clicking and buying. There is some work, some back end process that you'll need to put in place, like email marketing, like autoresponders, email sequences, and creating more content to figure out how to actually resonate with your target audience. But affiliate marketing on the surface is simple, but not easy. And I wish I realized that I saw that people were having massive success. And I thought that I would just be able to roll into affiliate marketing and have that same success, not looking at the fact that they had gone through months and years of frustration and anger, some of which you might be going through right now before they had their breakthrough and, and broke through that ceiling, whatever ceiling that they might be. So number one, simple but not easy. Number two, and this is huge, email marketing. I just alluded to it a few seconds ago, but email marketing is critically important when you get started with affiliate marketing. Now, email marketing basically consists of a few different parts. You need to send people to a landing page to collect their email, and then you're going to follow up with them frequently. The reason why email marketing is so important is because most people don't buy right away. Think about your buying habits. You don't buy the first time you see a product or service. You actually do a little bit of research. You think about it. You open up a few emails from someone maybe like me before you get to the point where you know, like, and trust me enough to invest in the product or service. And when I first got started with affiliate marketing, maybe you're making this same mistake too, but I didn't collect email addresses. I went a long time for whatever reason. I thought I was going to be a, a, a unicorn and people were just going to click on my link and buy the product. Most often, people are not going to buy your product on the first go around. It's going to take maybe five emails, five email follow up where you're adding value. Maybe it's going to take them seeing five YouTube videos or five blog posts, whatever it may be. There, 80% of people aren't going to buy right away. And if you're not collecting emails, you are missing out on a ton of money. So after email marketing, we have model success. Another problem that I, I think I did, or I wish I knew I, I was doing wrong was I thought I was just going to pave my own path. I was going to be my own man. I was going to do things 100% my way. In reality, you want to model success and put your own little spin on it so that you can do what's working. Oftentimes when you, uh, I just saw, saw a quote from Russell Brunson where, you know, entrepreneurs, they die for one or two reasons because they have run out of time or they've run out of money before they find success because they have a bunch of arrows in their back. They have people shooting at them essentially um, for on their way to success. You want to model what's working now but don't copy. You see what's working, see what people are doing in your industry and marketplace and do something similar. You want to have a similar landing page, but different copy. If the landing page that you see that's converting from, you know, a top affiliate marketer in your niche has, let's say, a headline, a subheadline, 
and then call to action in a picture, you probably want to have a headline that is similar but not the same, a subheadline that is similar and not the same, a picture, and then an email because that's what's working right now. Don't try and be your own man and do your own thing because you're going to run into some frustration and you're going to spend a lot of time wondering why it isn't working. So model success, but don't copy. After that, we have I have don't watch others. Now, this is interesting. You want to model success, but you don't want to watch others. Nothing will drive you crazier and more frustrated than watching people that are having massive success online. Because if you're just getting started off, chances are you don't really know exactly what you're doing. And that's okay. You're a brand new beginner. But yet you see people that are having massive success, six figure, seven figure earners, and you feel like, hey, I'm doing that exact same thing. Why why aren't I making a hundred dollars per day or a thousand dollars per day, whatever it is? You will spend so much time watching others and trying to analyze every little bit of thing that you're doing, and you'll spend every waking moment frustrated and angry, trying to figure out why it's not working. Model success, but don't spend a lot of time watching others. Go out and create what you feel is great content, whether it's TikTok videos or blogging or vlogging or YouTube, whatever it is, feel like you're creating, create the best content you can create. And don't spend so much time watching people that have made, made it to the mountaintop because their mountain is going to look much different than your mountain, especially when you're just getting started. After don't watch others, I have invest in yourself. Now, invest in yourself can mean a few different things. What I recommend is invest in a few courses. I know that I've spent some money investing in courses to learn Facebook marketing, to learn YouTube advertising. The reason being, the reason why you want to invest in yourself, and while YouTube is great, the information can be scattered, the information can be outdated. The purpose of enrolling in a course, it could be a Udemy course, it could be the course teachable, and there's a number of courses out there. The reason why you want to invest in yourself is because courses have packaged everything, the best practices, the best tips, a good course, I should say, package the best practices, the best tips, and they keep it updated. Now, one of the issues that you'll run into, especially with YouTube videos, is you could watch a video that's seven months old and the information is outdated. For example, maybe two years ago, you could put bit links into Pinterest. If you try and do that now, you won't be able to submit the the Pinterest pin. So invest in yourself, uh, find a course or two that you know, like, and trust, watch those courses and go through and really apply what they're teaching you. Um, It's okay if you invest in yourself, just think of of someone that um, spent four years at a college or university so that they could have an engineering degree. They invested four years, usually hundreds of thousands of dollars so that they could be an engineer. You're doing the same thing, but at a much smaller level. So um, it's okay. I give you permission to invest in yourself, take that leap, um, and expect that you're going to get a positive return on investment. So the next thing is actually high-ticket affiliate marketing. Now, high-ticket affiliate marketing is when you make a commission or sale of $500 or more. The reason why this is very important is because most people will come in and tell you to start promoting Amazon affiliate products. If you do the math on it, Amazon pays you somewhere between one in 10% commission. Let's say you're selling a a $10 product. You're going to get paid 10% of that. That's not very much, right? That's what a dollar. If my math is correct. Um, How many sales would you need? Let's say you, your goal is $500 per month. How many sales would you need in order to make your monthly goal 500? And if you're just getting started, most likely you don't have the traffic or you might not have the skills and the knowledge to get 500 buyers um, to purchase every month. Uh, eventually, as you gain more experience with affiliate marketing, you could probably start making uh, $500 relatively easy per month and, and scale that up. But if you're just getting started, I recommend getting into or learning high ticket affiliate marketing right away. Because if you are making $500 per commission, you just need to be right once. You just need one person to know, like, and trust you to purchase the product that you're promoting. And then you've made your monthly goal. Uh, so start high ticket affiliate marketing today. Um, if, if you are brand new to affiliate marketing. So after that is consistent action. Now this is very, very important when you get started with affiliate marketing because you don't really know what you're doing or because I didn't know what I was doing, uh, I would create a piece of content and then kind of stand back and look at it. What I recommend is you create a piece of content or multiple pieces of content and keep creating content because the more content you create, the better that you get at it. The, your first YouTube video is going to look markedly different than your 400th YouTube video because you've created consistent action. You have a game plan. You know what needs to be said and what doesn't need to be said. 
the worst thing that you could do as an affiliate marketer is create a piece of content, wait a few days, and then create a new piece of content. What I essentially urge, what I recommend that you should do is learn something and then basically create a video or um, model what you've learned. So let's say you are getting into affiliate marketing, high ticket affiliate marketing, and someone tells you to create a landing page. What I recommend that you do is after that video, as soon as that video is done, is go to ClickFunnels, wherever your landing page builder is, and create a landing page. And you can even record that and put that up on YouTube and show people your journey. People love to watch a journey because that's what most movies are. Some sort of journey where one person, the hero is going from A all the way to Z. You can do this too and make passive income, but make sure that you take consistent action on whatever platform you decide is best for you. There are a number of platforms out there. Traffic is abundant, so don't get hung up on the best traffic source. Decide which be- which is best for you and then take consistent action. So after taking consistent action is give yourself a break. Now, this is important. When you first get started with affiliate marketing, you are go, 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 go. You're excited, you're gung-ho, you have visions of making a million million dollars per year with passive income. It is okay if you don't make money every day. It is okay if you don't create content every day. The worst thing that you could do is spend every waking moment thinking about affiliate marketing and why your business isn't growing and how you can create more content. Dedicate an hour or two per day to growing your online business, but give yourself a break. Allow yourself to think about uh, baseball or basketball, whatever it is you're interested in. Allow yourself to think about kids and family obligations because if you're constantly thinking about why you're not making money, those negative thoughts will run into your head and you'll start to doubt yourself. And when you doubt, the easiest thing you can do is quit. And you don't want to quit because your big break, your success is right around the corner. It's right there for you if you continue moving forward. So give yourself a break daily. Uh, Try and go to bed without thinking about affiliate marketing. Uh, Maybe take a day off uh, Sundays or whatever day that that gives you some free time. But it's okay if you don't work for 365 straight days. Give yourself a break and you can still find success. Um, So after that, I have uh, take massive action. Now, I just said take yourself, give yourself a break. What you could do, let's say you are going to start a brand new YouTube channel. What I recommend that you do is create two videos every single day. And then on the Sunday, you don't have to create any videos. You don't have to do anything. You can schedule your uploads so that on Sunday at 4 a.m. or whatever it is that whatever time you, you decide to upload, it's doing the work for you. Take massive action because massive action will yield massive results. Little action re, re- yields little results. Uh, The worst thing that you could do, the worst thing that could happen if you take massive action is you could get little results. What's the worst thing that could happen if you take little action? You get zero results. Um, It reminds me of a Kanye quote. Shoot for the stars. If you miss you, at least you'll fall in the clouds. Um, The clouds are a much better place to be than starting at zero, uh, standing standing still on the ground. So these are different tips that I wish I knew when I got started with affiliate marketing. If you have some other tips, definitely comment down below because I would love to hear them. And again, if you want my number one recommended way to start an online business and make passive income, click the first link in the description or go to alstingodbolt.com forward slash start. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Before I forget, I do want to inform you that some of the links that you will see in your description are affiliate links and I do and can receive a commission if you click on those links and purchase a product.